Welcome Hong Kong Scottish. This is your whiskey. Finally it's landed. Uh, my name is John um, and I'm the guy that basically uh, arranged the cask, brought it into Hong Kong um, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm the guy you're going to blame for it being quite as late as it actually is. Um, a lot of it's outside of my control. I, I, I am making excuses but so uh, let's move on to the whiskey, shall we? Now, thank you very much to Hong Kong Scottish for uh, allowing me to do this uh, with you because the Glen Elgin is actually quite an unusual bottling. So this is for the 10th anniversary of Hong Kong Scottish, right? Um, yeah, it's an unusual bottling. You don't get Glen Elgin as an IB very many uh, times in the market. Uh, so I was, I was like looking around for this cast um, and I was very pleased to actually find it. So, let's get into the whiskey, shall we? Uh, Glen Elgin Distillery, it's about three miles south of Elgin itself. Elgin is bang in the heart of the space side, a little bit north. Um, so if you're traveling from Inverness, it's about an hour's drive or so like that. Um, so this is a, a distillery that's about 120 years old. Um, they're very, very traditional in what they do. Uh, their their product is actually going into the uh, blending industry. So their their single malts go into the White Horse blend. Scotland's output is still 90% blended whiskey. So that's a blend of grain and malt whiskies. And um, and so this is this belongs to Diageo. Um, and as I said, they're very old-fashioned in how they do things, uh, which is quite nice. So. One of the, let's say, notable characteristics about Glen Elgin uh, is their, their stills. You get the pot still, you get the neck, and then the line arm. And the line arm goes down into what's called a worm tub. Uh, so it's that copper, it's all copper piping, copper everything. Um, and it goes down into a worm tub. Uh, and basically the worm is just a copper piping. It's like a coil. It goes into the cold water, and that's the condenser. Uh, and that's basically it. So the condenser and these worm tubs are actually outside of the building. Um, not many distilleries in Scotland do this anymore, uh, and it's just, it is an old-fashioned way of doing it. Let's get into the whiskey. We are going to be using today a, a Glencairn glass branded with Hong Kong Scottish logo. So you can have, uh, uh, you should be having one of these, uh, and they're available. Um, so you're going to be picking your whiskies up from uh, the Lee Tung Avenue shop that we have, uh, Caskell's shop. Um, and so these are all available there. That's where you, where you guys are going to be picking it up from. Okay, so let's get on with it. Lovely sound. Okay, here we go. Pour the whiskey, just a bit like that. You kind of want to fill the bowl, okay? You just want to fill the bowl roughly around about there, right? Um, and then you just make a line with the whiskey and just wait. And what you're going to see it's, you're not going to see it in the camera here, but you're going to take a close-up look at it, let it sit, and very, very slowly you start to see the teardrops appearing, okay? And they'll slowly come down. And that's a, that, that's a nice mark of a, a cast-strength whiskey, which is what this one is. It's around about 56%. Don't let that put you off. Uh, this is a very, very nice, elegant, sweet, easy-drinking whiskey. And when we're talking about easy drinking, as you can see, this bottle's not full. Uh, we did actually uh, go through some of this with uh, me, Alex, and uh, Sarah yesterday in the shop uh, where we had uh, opened the first bottle off the shelf. Uh, so that's why that's like that. Okay. Back to the whiskey. Pale straw color. Take a nose. And that you're going to get quite sort of light flavors, so you get vanilla. This is typical from a bourbon cask whiskey. Uh, you can tell that also from the color. Uh, it's an ex-bourbon cask whiskey. Um, and you're going to get sort of, let's say, pastry notes. Um, it was a little bit of, uh, let's say, uh, white, uh, like custard cream biscuits, you know, that kind of thing. You get a little bit of the, the pastry from that. Um, I actually also get a little bit of the hay or straw. Uh, and that takes me back to my childhood. I used to live in Dumfries or just outside Dumfries. And it was like being in a, it's, it's like being to me in a field where you've got a, a freshly harvested uh, field and you've got that smell. 
and you've got the, the bales just sitting there in the field. That's what that smells like. Uh, not many people have that experience. However, that's, that's a childhood thing, and that's, uh, all smells are like that. So that's, that's what that brings to. Let's have a taste uh, on the palate, shall we? Smooth, sweet, little bit of gingeriness. Give it a bit of time. Um, it's going to go, you get that sort of like alcohol rush, and then you get more flavors coming in after that. Uh, a little bit of almond, or crushed almond rather, crushed almond, uh, almost like marzipan. Um, and these, these are the notes that we did, um, tasting notes that we did here. And we also gave the samples to, to you guys in Hong Kong Scottish. And there's actually a bit of a similarity. So what we'd like also from you is, when you have your whiskey, tell us what you get. What notes do you get on the nose, on the palate? Quite personal but there's a little bit of commonality there between what we got and what the guys in Hong Kong Scottish got uh, which is quite interesting so let's just see what you guys get uh, when you when you have a taste of it so this is a nice it's drying a little bit as well uh, with oak next thing we're going to try water so you just pour the water in just a little bit like that let it go down the side of the glass not too much and you're going to take a look at it you hold it up against the light and you're going to see the whiskey actually uh, the water goes down the side it doesn't actually mix with the whiskey you get these lines happening they're called snakes um, and as you get the, the lines going in what that is is it's actually the whiskey pushing the water away uh, so the water goes into the whiskey and then it pulls it apart and that's where you get the lighter flavors coming up and that's what's called opening up the whiskey you get the lighter flavors and lighter aromas happening with it. So you give that a little bit of a swirl, make sure the water's completely in. And it does actually lighten it a little bit, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Some whiskies do, some don't. It very much depends on the individual cask, actually. Smooths it out on the palate. Um, this is a whiskey that I'm actually quite happy drinking straight, 56% or so. Um, yeah, I, I, well, I like that. It takes a very little water. Uh, if you add too much water, I think it will slightly sharpen it up. As, but see how you go with it. The other way you can drink this, in a tumbler. If you do take it in a tumbler, um, you're probably going to want to put ice in it, if you do. And if you do, try and get a ball of ice, rather than like all the little small bits, uh, small chunks. The small chunks, they're just going to melt and it's going to dilute the whiskey. If you get a ball, if you happen to have one of those, um, uh, or if you're a guy, you've got probably two. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you've got a ball in there, right? Um, you let the whiskey go onto it, it goes around, it cools down, and it just sits. The, the exposure of the ball, the surface area to the whiskey, is actually quite little. Um, and uh, you just drink it like that. But if you use, a, like I said, if you use small, small chunks of ice, it's just going to turn into slush. Uh, and I think, you're, you're, well, it can be quite nice because you're in a race to try and like sort of not dilute the whiskey and off you go. Uh, so I'm just going to recharge, I'm, I'm going to recharge my glass. And we're just going to run through that a little bit again. Um, so like, yeah, so I'll just, as I said, I'm just going to recharge the glass a little bit. Um, and, uh, oh, oh, okay. It, it's just, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we're really going to um, have a look at it, and you're going to probably see with this particular uh, pour, um, we're gonna, we'll just run through that again. Uh, you just take to the widest part of the bowl if you can, and this whiskey actually produces uh, beading around the sides here, so that, that's, that's all these little bubbles. That's a good sign. Whiskey is actually quite thick, uh, so that's what you're looking for. So again, you just run and roll the whiskey around the glass. Okay, you get your line and just let it produce the legs. You just you have to wait for a little bit, okay? Uh, and and that's it. Then, yep, lovely aromas, nice and light. It's a very nice light. It's a really good summertime whiskey, I tell you. Uh, and then you just have a little sip. So, hmm, I forgot something. Slancha. Ha <laughs> ha 